guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. We're finally chilling here with the Cayman S and I am so, so, so excited to start tearing her apart and just diagnosing the damage. It's honestly been sitting here while me and Jonathan have been working, we're just dismantling cars, you know, pulling engines and trannies. We got that current hoopty currently in the shop. Should actually show him a little bit of that real quick? Yeah, we can quickly. Just to kind of show you guys, this guy put some mods to this car. You know, it's got a beautiful M3 bumper on here. You know, absolutely stunning, immaculate condition. Um, some upgraded headlights here. Uh, you know, looking pretty decent, nothing too crazy. Just, you know, broken tabs, missing bulbs. Nothing, nothing, you know, out of the ordinary for what, you know, what this car is. We got some custom wiring over here that I think it's meant so when you open up the hood at the wrong angle, it just electrocutes you and stuff like that. It's pretty <laughs> sick. Um, we got a bungee cord just in case, you know, you're trying to hold Hold on for your life while you're in here, you know? And then obviously just come around to the interior real quick. Um, just, you know, get that out of the way. Uh, beautiful steering wheel upgrade, absolutely stunning. I think this is what, like electrical, uh, tape? electrical <laughs> tape upgrade? It did the job. Uh, beautiful seat upgrade, you got sports seats in there. Oh, dear heavens. <laughs> Um, you know, that that's an upgrade for this car. So that being said, uh, man, I got some glass in my shoe. I got it. Oh, flush, bro. <laughs> you got the Crocs. Oh, I got the Crocs on, man. I don't know what I'm doing. Crazy. That was a setback for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, this isn't a setback. This is our pride and joy just sitting here. And I just honestly couldn't wait to start taking it apart, diagnosing the damage. Honestly, guys, it doesn't look like too much, especially with this wheel sitting straight. The wheel is completely shot. The suspension is completely clapped. When we got it off the trailer, this wheel is pretty much like right over here. Yeah, there is a lot of damage. I'm really hoping there's no frame damage. For those of you guys who don't know, this car is made out of aluminum. The frame is aluminum. So if there is damage, it's gonna cost a lot. And uh, I'm gonna have to send it off to a shop because it's not part of my skill set. But that being said, I wanna do as much as we can. And before actually assuming anything, let's just go ahead, give her a nice squash and start tearing her down. It actually looks good. <laughs> <laughs> she clean. She's still looking a lot better, bro. It looks really good. It was looking really filthy. Unfortunately, after cleaning up the car, we did notice a few things. I'm hoping this is uh, this isn't the paint. It does feel a little weird. It's kind, of, it's kind of hard to get off. Maybe with the polish, it'll come off. I was looking at that pillar. I decided to look at the other pillar, and uh, unfortunately, you know, I got a fat dent here. Not fat. I think I can get pulled out, but I think the paint's kind of gone too, right? A little bit, it's like a scratch. Oh bro, what is going on here? Oh no, that's the design. It's a little dent in here too. I think maybe like a door hit it or something. Something, something kind of hit it right there. It's kind of unfortunate, there's a little dent here. So that's kind of unfortunate, nothing too crazy, but I'm pretty sure that can get PDR'd and then potentially having to get repainted. We're gonna have to pull the dashboard out anyways because it's blown, we have to pull the windshield out anyways. Um, so when both of those are out and the pillar's off, I'll probably call a PDR guy to come out here and just get that fixed for us uh, because this car needs to be perfect. I'm not, I can't, oh, it hurts my soul. <laughs> I literally just saw it because this, this tape was covering it. Yeah. So it's super unfortunate. I'm taking all the tape off and I'm keeping it on the windshield just because there's no point to clean this windshield just because the whole windshield's getting chopped off. Oh yeah. Uh, cracked, unfortunately. Uh, but again, pulling around to the front right now, let's go ahead and pop the hood. It's looking pretty good down here. It is looking good. So that being said, uh, we do need to start removing some pieces. I think all these trim pieces right around here need to come off because we need to get the front bumper off uh, and we need to get this fender off. This headlight, this fender, we can leave it. Yeah, let's just go ahead and start the teardown process because I'm really curious if you have any frame damage. That would, it'll make it or break it because today I want Chipotle and we want to enjoy our Chipotle, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Bro, I'm talking burrito, queso, guac. It needs to be a good day, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> be a good day, come on. Any cracks? Got some scrapes. Doesn't look bad. Doesn't look like any bends either. Tyrod looks good. This tie rod actually looks good. Tyrod rod looks good, to be honest with you. Oh. What? So the control arms are snapped. For real? Like, obviously, like, pretty bad. But other than that, this is looking pretty good. Looking pretty good, not too bad. I, I'm not seeing, so typically I like to look in here to see if any of these plastics are like kind of gouged anywhere or damaged. Kind of see where there's contact between the tire and the wall. But it's looking mighty fine. Uh, the shock seems to be perfect. The hub seems to be perfect. It looks like just two control arms, really. Not bad. It's not bad at all. This caliper, bro, is just- It looks phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> that looks sick. That looks so, so, so good. I was thinking about repainting this caliper to another color, 
But this is factory. It does look really good. The colorway, I'm trying to go with this car. I'll show you guys a little bit down the road. It's going to look absolutely insane. I just don't know if it's going to run good with these red calipers. I guess we'll find out. I think it has a slight lip to it. Actually, has a lot of holes on it as well. <laughs> Very drilled. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and keep taking off more things. Hopefully, we don't expose any more damage. Hopefully, it's all looking A-OK. -okay, but this is looking pretty promising. Let's go ahead and get off the fender liners, all the coolers. You can kind of see in here now. I don't know if you can see all that. The fan is completely disintegrated. But where the fan connects to, these two lines actually look perfect, which is, I don't even know where that would go. I'm happy it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> even looking up here, the brake booster seems to be untouched, undamaged. All the wires here look to be perfectly intact. There's actually no damage to the frame rail here whatsoever. Um, again, we can't say for sure just yet until we get this uh, this auxiliary fan off and everything here. So I think we should do that next just to kind of fully expose all the damage. But so far, I'm a happy man with a Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, we just found a connector that's damaged and uh, like BMWs, um, well, unlike BMWs, uh, when you got a connector that's damaged, you gotta go ahead and figure out a way to wire that. Not a big deal, but uh, Porsche knows that potentially you could be in an accident and uh, that could just be disconnected and has a separate part number. I love you guys, I love Porsche. I love Porsche. So far, so good. <laughs> You good? <sighs> All right, bro. That was typical car, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a daily basis, huh? Daily basis for you, for me. A hundred percent. It's a once in a couple month occurrence. Yeah, bro. I <laughs> I hate working on cars. <laughs> oh fudge. That hurts too much, man. Rip. Well, you're almost there. Everything's coming off. You can just cut yourself or It's already getting pink. Oh, shoot, bro. See that? I didn't cut myself, surprisingly, but I hit it so hard that, like, whoo. That hurts. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs> Still good, that's good. Well, fender's off. Kinda. Kind of, halfway. Yeah, I mean, so the great news is, look at that. It's completely straight. Completely straight. We did notice that the shock did get pushed this way, but it didn't crack any of the welds, so that could just get readjusted through an alignment. Uh, now over here, unfortunately, I was moving the fender and I did just scratch my A-pillar, so. <sighs> Rookie mistake, you know, Rookie so. Mistake. Hey, hey. Doesn't need framework, which is upwards of a couple grand. That's true. This just adds another $200 to my paint list. And I mean, I'm gonna have to paint this entire side anyway, so it's probably gonna get blended anyways this way because the door, I don't know if you guys can see, scrapes up. So it's gonna be blending here, blending there. It's probably not gonna cost much of a difference, but that is a rookie mistake. Unfortunately with the fender, um, the way to remove it's like really bizarre. Like you can kind of see the mounting bolt right there. I think you can see that. A little bit, yeah. How are you supposed to get to that with the I fender? Have no idea. You have to remove this, I think. You have to go out at an angle. So, but to remove this, you have to remove it from the inside. So, long story short, I cut it up to make it easier accessible, and I kind of want to diagnose the damage, guys. I'm so happy. I'm I, so it looks happy. so good, Bro, to be honest. Look at that, dude. Completely straight. Completely everywhere. straight. It's gonna be like a clean title. And if you guys look at the control arms too, uh, the t uh, this control arm, straight as it can be. I don't even know how. Uh, well, this is actually the, the, tie the tie rod. Yeah, yeah, this control arm, straight as it can be. No damage at all. The only one that's damaged is right back there. I guess that one got most of the impact and it just cracked right in half. Uh, crazy story, I actually already got that control arm. It's the only control arm that I have. So if we have time here, we might have to just slap that on that's and true. get the full suspension together. That'd be ideal. Which would be pretty sick. So, so far, look, it's so good. We do need to read the front bumper as well, but before I do anything, I do want to finish up with the fender just so we can get that completely off. That's hitting my OCD. I would, 
would say, look what I just got myself into, but uh, it's not as bad as it looks. It's really not as bad. It's really honestly amazing. Like I'm very happy. This crash bar right over here, guys, bro, like what is that? It's just a small like, bend. Even if you look on this side, no damage. It's just slight bend right over here. The foam came out of here, perfect. <laughs> Surprisingly, to be honest. So realistically, this is perfectly reusable. I don't see, as long as this part did not get damaged, I don't see an issue with this being reused. But I did find one for a good deal, brand like no damage. And considering the build that we're trying to do on this car, we might as well do everything to the T. But for those of you guys who are trying to rebuild the Cayman 981 and don't care about a small ding, there you have it. It's gonna be listed in Natty Auto Parts. So coming around right over here as well. This is the front bumper. We're actually not gonna be going with the same style front bumper. You guys can already get some kind of ideas of what we're gonna be doing with this car. Um, so this front grill, we are gonna be taking it off. This side grill, um, this washer system, I believe we're gonna be transferring it over. But the fog lights, we won't be needing that either. So um, everything on these bumpers are worth money, um, even though the bumper itself is trash. But that being said, we're gonna go ahead and ship everything down from this. But we're gonna do that like literally off camera. That's stuff you guys don't care about. Looking at the front end of this car, the question is, is there any damage? And uh, I'm happy to say guys, uh, I bent that a little bit trying to get the bumper off. But uh, look at that bro. Pretty mint to be honest. Mint, no damage, no nothing. Even this bar right here that's gonna hold the front bumper. What I love about Porsche, everything's replaceable. It is. Look at this bracket. You see this bracket like, oh man, is this gonna have to like pull it out? No, bolt there, bolt there bolt there, pull off. pull off this bracket, brand new back it. Your bumper will line up like OEM. This bracket right over here, that shows right over here. This is what holds on the fender to the car. On BMWs, uh, if this thing, if any of your, your pieces actually bend, you're gonna have to get it rewelded, which means you have to take the car to the weld shop. Here, a couple bolts, take off this bracket, replace the bracket, your fender will line up like OEM. So that is super nice. So technically a Porsche, if you rebuild it properly, as long as you don't have any frame damage, it should come out literally like a clean top. Perfect, yeah. Perfect. As long as you don't cut corners, try to bend this kind of stuff back. This thing has a very minor bend. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, it's a little bowed. Uh, again, <laughs> I doubt this thing's more than 50 bucks. I want this car to be perfect, so we're gonna pay the 50 bucks. Just like everything else on this car, we want everything to the T. Again, surprisingly guys, suspension, everything is looking A-OK. -okay. So looking right over here, the tie rod is in perfect shape. Honestly, it doesn't even need replacing. Uh, this control arm right over here, this lower control arm, looking at it from even down here, no damage. The only control arm that's damaged is this little bad boy right over here. And honestly guys, this shock looks fine. It is slightly angled on the hub. I'm not too sure if that's how they're supposed to be from factory. I will do a little more research on that, but that honestly looks fine. It literally looks like it may need one control arm. That's crazy. That's actually insane. That's, I don't know what to say. <laughs> you got a lucky. I, I, we're not gonna say lucky just yet. We wanna make sure everything's great in the Navy, but I'm, even the full car harness itself, not a single cut on the OEM harness, not a single damage to any of these pipings that go literally far deep in there. Like, it's just surface level, which is amazing. This is gonna be one sick Cayman. It's gonna be literally clean title with the salvage title. Clean title, clean title. <laughs> The clean salvage, salvage title. Clean salvage title. <laughs> so that being said, we stripped everything we wanted to strip off the front end. I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up. We got a big mess behind you guys. And uh, as soon as we click, get everything cleaned up over there, we're gonna take you guys to the interior and get everything pulled out of there that needs replacing. Got our Chipotle. You know, after, you know, building a car, you know, rebuilding a, a pretty well fun car, you have to get a fun meal, you know what I'm saying? So me yeah. and Jonathan got some Chipotle. I had to get my side tortilla. I'm not that healthy, but uh, did you get a side tortilla or no? No, I <laughs> Jonathan's the healthy one. He's been in the gym. I got the natural muscle, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, we'll catch you guys later. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and indulge. We're absolutely starving, but uh, catch you guys in the car, honestly. We'll talk about it more in the car. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah I, already got some, I already got a few parts on the way for the Cayman, so super excited about that. We also have some mods on the way with Keys Mortis Sports. Super excited about that. We'll keep you guys posted as soon as we can finish with all this good stuff. So guys, with the Cayman so far, honestly, I'm very, very, very happy at how everything came out. My stomach's happy with Chipotle and my soul's happy with the Cayman so far, just because honestly, the damage was nothing like I expected. Honestly, I didn't even know that, I don't know if you notice on the top where the apron is, um, the way it bulges out. Just imagine if that impact was a little bit more true. deeper and regardless it would have need aluminum framework, which would have sucked. So I'm super happy with the damage that it had was literally purely cosmetics. Super happy about that. That being said, uh, the first thing I need to get so we can get the car running and driving is suspension. So I went ahead and actually picked up one of those locally uh, between us actually filming uh, disassembly and us eating the Chipotle. It was like three day difference. So... 
I don't think it's allowed. <laughs> this whole car is allowed, bro. This whole, this, uh, guys, we're in the M3, and it's just a loud car. To be fair. <laughs> so, it's an M3 V8. It's an M3 you know what I'm V8. So I actually got the suspension, I got a fender, and I got a few other little components. I think some airbags and a couple other things off Facebook Marketplace. I actually went all the way down to LA to pick up all that stuff. I'll be showing you guys that in the next video. Um, but I also went ahead and ordered the coolers for this car. So I actually picked up some coolers, the whole radiator assembly. Uh, that was actually a pretty good price, 740 bucks. About $800 out the door. That's a really, really, really good price because the cheapest alternative, like any other anywhere else, was about $1,400. So 50% off there, good deal there. I found the brackets that hold it. Thankfully, that was super cheap. It was the only one on eBay, right? That's true. It was so that the only one. literally bought it, was sold. Same goes with the washer nozzle. The only one on eBay bought it, last one. So if anyone tried to build a Cayman right after me, I'm sorry. But, you know, first come, first serve. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyways, this last one was a killer deal. This one was um, a killer deal. I didn't, so headlights are going for about 450 bucks, like bare, no modules. This guy was asking about 650 plus 100 shipping, which is about 750 I decided to offer him 500, so it'd be 600 out the door, and he accepted my offer, surprisingly. Little did I know, because it says here, I searched for left headlight. It says left right there, right? Yeah. But then it says headlights. It does. Plural. And I'm looking at this picture, and you look at this one, and they're different. There's, yes. That's, that's left, or that's right, and that's left. And I'm yeah. like, wait, Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan, bro. I, am I getting two headlights? He's like, bro, read the description. I read the description and it says, use 2014 Porsche Cayman 981 headlights, uh, headlight, plural, uh, got GT4 headlights instead. So these got to go. So these are with modules and everything. I'm just saying, if I actually Smoking got that, deal. buy one, get one free. Literally. Like, sell the other one, free headlight. <laughs> For real. So super happy so far. So far, the Cayman Bell is really coming in clutch. Um, I actually have a headlight upgrade I want to do to these headlights as soon as I get them in. Um, there's a few other things I want to knock out on this car. Everything's getting upgraded. If you guys are actually excited to see some Porsche content, I know for those of you guys who love BMWs, the next step up is Porsche. So I'm going to show you guys how to modify it cheaply, but at the same time, like we got the Porsche pretty cheap, 20K. Yeah, pretty, that's really cheap. That's, that's cheap. That's cheap. Like for a car that's like, hey, I got a Porsche. Mm -hmm. Like usually when you say I got a Porsche, you think 100K. 20K, good deal. Um, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to build one for very affordable, make it look super sick. And I hope you guys enjoy the journey. Um, we are going to be partnering up with Keys Motorsports, FCP Year, and a couple other companies as well. So I'm super excited about that. But anyways, it's going to conclude the video right here. Um, so yeah, love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you on the next one. Peace out.